Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Car Addiction. Today is the day I get my uh, timing belt service done on my R32 Skyline. If this is your first time in my channel, I'm a huge Nissan enthusiast. I'm actually the self-proclaimed Nissan ambassador in YouTube. So I have an R32 Skyline. I have a 300ZX Twin Turbo. That's my baby 300ZX Twin Turbo. That's a Nissan Xterra, which is a giant pain in the arse. I don't know why I have that. I definitely don't know why I have that. If you are 21 and younger, stop, watch a cat video, talk to a female, do anything else. Do not, do not be a car enthusiast because it is detrimental to your financial health. Now the warning is out of the way. So today Amin is going to come over and he's going to take my R32 Skyline to do the 120K timing belt kit, which includes the timing belt, water pump, tensioner, and thermostat. So, uh, so let's wait for him. I'm not going to show you the whole process of doing it because there are a billion people to show how to do a timing belt job, but I will show you tidbits of it and uh, the after effect. That's going to the clinic today to get the timing belt job done. It's going to Amin's shop. really hope you guys can see me. First, uh, let's show you the items that has been changed. First off, the Nissan timing belt. Now this is the old belt, but if you look at it, this does not look too bad. The car has about 170,000 kilometers, so luckily the timing belt has been changed in its life. Now, I certainly did not have any documentation of this belt change up. Uh, neither I know how many kilometers I go. So it's always safe to do a timing belt job because uh, these are interference motor. If the belt snaps or anything, you are in for some deep trouble. So the belt job is done. And over here, the water pump. Now, if you see the brand over here, it's ASIN, A-I-S-I-N. ASIN is the OEM Nissan brand. So I have a feeling this was the OEM water pump, but there was no shaft play or anything like that, so the water pump was doing its job at the optimal section. Uh, how does this shape look like to you? Can you take a wild guess? Leave it at the comment section. I would like to know. The next uh, is the vault cover gaskets. Which we talked about in the previous video. And I'll show you why. And the most important, this uh, tensioners. Now, again, um, these are NTN bearing and the bearings that went inside are SKF, which is the gates bearing are SKF. And I guess NTN is OEM bearing. But there was no play in it. They are, in, can't. they were good. They were definitely in good condition. This is the other one. Nope. That's NSK and NTN. There's two different brands of, this, of two different bearings. So, I'm gonna assume one of them has been changed. I guess this is a newer one. But anyway, I changed both of them. Now, here's the sad part. In one of the videos, I actually made a video why you should be buying this thermostat. And I was not able to use it. And uh, I'll show you in a bit. Let's put these back in and then let's take you to the front and show you why it wasn't used. Mm -hmm. 
first off, let's talk about these valve cover gaskets. So, if you notice, right over there, there's a lot of oil leaks, which these valve cover gaskets were known to do. And when Amin took them off, he mentioned that the gaskets were pinched at certain locations, which literally caused the leak. So, whoever did the valve cover gasket job previously, certainly did not do a good job, which caused the whole issue right now. Also, keeping with the valve cover, I replaced the cam seals. And if you look at the picture, on this picture, you're going to see the seals were leaking very bad. Now, in this picture, you see he replaced the seals and he cleaned it up really nice and it looks phenomenal. Behind this cover, I wish I was there to videotape the whole thing because he did a really good job, cleaned up all the mess. There was quite a bit of oil stains and everything behind it. He did that. He also painted this black because the valve cover was not this clean before. So I give that to Amin for helping me with it and his prices were really reasonable. Um, now let's go to where we all got stuck. Um, so the thermostat housing is right behind here. Okay, and, the, and in a factory car, there is a hose that comes out and goes to, and goes to the radiator. Over here, I have a kit. I don't know what this kit is called. Please somebody leave it in the comment section because I would like to know. What this does is it raises the the level of the of the water higher than the radiator. So if there is any um, what do you call it any vacuum in the in the water circulation system, this will bleed it out, and it's super easy to bleed. It's great for racing applications and whatnot. But in our scenario, if you wanted to change the thermostat, he would have to, to take this off and take the whole RB26 uh, intake uh, side off, and then that would have been another big job so i understand why he didn't do it uh he was in time crunch too and i also had a budget and we both agreed the thermostat was working well so we left the previous thermostat in but i would love to replace the thermostat now having said that it is what it is uh car runs let's give it a start <laughs> Now, you guys can hear the little whining noise. So, I mean, told me to drive it a couple of uh, hundred kilometers so that the belt goes through a couple of uh, heat cycles. That means it uh, goes hard and cold, hard and cold, which expands and contracts and comes to the shape that it's supposed to. Now, with any kind of timing belt job, the, the thing is, once you do the belt job, you have to take care of it or at least drive like a granny for a 100 to 500 kilometers so the belt seats itself and finds its home and then you can uh, push it so um, I haven't done 100 kilometers yet uh, I idled it for a long time but I have not done 100 kilometers yet so uh, I guess I'll be driving around in town for the next couple of days and uh, hopefully uh, the belt noise goes down you can already notice it's less than what it started with. Well, uh, that's that. The next thing to come is I'm going to have a compound uh, fan pushing air that way. The clutch fan is pulling air. I would have a secondary fan pushing air that way. Um, and then I already have the AEM True Boost uh, kit, which uh, will be installed hopefully by next couple of days. So more videos coming on it and then I will be focusing on the Z uh, there are a couple of things I need to do over there I'll be focusing on the Hyundai um, I will do something stupid with it so uh, please hit the subscribe button and bell notification a lot more shenanigans coming in your way